Yeah. Let me start with a story. A story of a woman who was diagnosed with a spinal tumor and had to undergo three spine surgeries. She got 183 stitches. She was paralyzed, waist down, and the doctor suggested she won't be able to walk again. She was shattered, her life fell apart. But what doctors didn't know, she was no ordinary woman. She decided tough, uh, sorry, tough situations don't last, but tough people do. She decided to become a swimmer, a biker, an adventure junkie, and an athlete at the age of 36. When most athletes retire, she decided to pursue a career in athletes. She did win many national championships, but her biggest achievement came in 2016 Rio Paralympics when she won the silver medal in the short put event. She has won the Arjuna Award in 2012. She has won the 2014 President's Role Model Award. 2017, she was awarded the Padma Shri. 2019, she received the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. Any guesses who she is? She is in fact the public. She clearly defines when life puts you in tough situations, don't say why me, instead say try me. Another example, Anurima Sinha. Anyone heard about her? Yeah, sure. She is a former Indian volleyball player and the first, first impute mountaineer to conquer Mount Everest. She was traveling with a moving. Uh, she was traveling with a train, and the robbers pushed her down from a moving train. So when she fell, another train crossed over her legs, and the doctor had to impute her leg to save her life. People started sympathizing with her, but she didn't buy any sympathy. Instead, she did a while to prove herself. She stood up. The harder life pushed her down, the bigger the she dreamed of. And yes, in 2012, she did conquer. Mount Everest with a prosthetic leg. For her achievement of this, she did receive the 2015 Padma Shri Award. She also received the Tenzing Norgay Mountaineer Award, which is considered to be the highest mountaineer award. Do you realize both of the stories had one thing in similar? Any guesses? They both were disabled. They prove that will and determination can lead them to success. They prove that hands and legs don't counter. Don't count when you have a perfect goal in your mind. According to WHO, disability is a umbrella term for any type of physical or mental impairments. Activity restrictions, participation restrictions. In India, people have uh, divided with disability with so many notions. The first Section of society believes disability is a punishment for the person for the sins committed by him in his previous birth. The second section believes disability persons are an example for all the normals to thank God every day that they are blessed with a beautiful body. The third believes disability is a curse and should not be allowed to see this beautiful world. They believe. Disability should be checked in the womb of a mother and should be aborted. By the fourth one, they are rare species. They believe disabled person has all the right in the world to live and it's everyone's responsibility to help them live their life comfortably. But you need to ask yourself a question. Is this anyone's fault? I didn't ask myself, I didn't ask God to bless me with this body. I have embraced and accepted that this is my body and I am living with it. But society each and every moment will make me realize that I am not normal. No matter how much confidence I carry, they will leave, leave, uh, let me down each moment. I hate social gatherings and the only reason <coughs> you are being scrutinized by multiple strangers at once. I enter a wedding hall with much confidence, but my confidence will be shattered in like two minutes. I see a group of ladies gossiping, oh my God, what he is. 
they are questioning my existence. I see a bunch of kids coming and looking like me at this, as if an alien is coming to me. But why? But why? We are not even blessed with the basic infrastructures. I try to, uh, I try a uh, public transport, and the first step of a mini bus, mini city bus, is usually this huge. I can't without any support. The new structure, the new footpaths that are being developed throughout the cities are usually two to three feet <coughs> above. I have to search for a slope or stair to get there. Private firms do not hire uh, disabled people as they doubt their inefficiency, as they doubt their efficiency. People need to change. People need to accept us. Just remember, Stephen Hawkins with a motorized wheelchair proved to be one of the greatest scientists this world has seen. Maybe we can change this world and rule this world someday, only if we receive some support from you. You leave this all, just have one question in your mind. Is disability really a curse? <laughs>